and I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my word, which will be used, you will become Jews, and you will speak, and if, and if, until the day this thing occurs. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in sanctuary. When he, did, when he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in sanctuary. He kept mentioning to them and remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in the seclusion. She said, This is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. My dear father and my dear brothers in Jesus Christ, a blissful evening to you all. As we are in this Christmas season, awaiting for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and preparing ourselves to receive him in our hearts and our lives. Precisely, these days we are very busy with our decoration work, college and seminary assignments, works, and classes and exams, and apart from these, are in charge of works. Yeah, it's a quite hectic day for us, and it is a time for us, there's no time for us to be free. But apart from these busy schedules, how many of us have given some time for the spiritual and mental preparation for the arrival of the Lord Jesus Christ? How many of us totally awaiting for its arrival in this hectic season? And now is the time for us to pause all our worldly and outside thoughts, actions and activities and be silent for a brief moment and reflect on a theme, Silent Christmas, with a holy and righteous man, Zechariah. What a fascinating study is present in the person of Zechariah. The scripture says that he was a righteous person, God-fearing and living blameless life according to the commandments of God. Of course he was a righteous person, in men's eyes certainly, for his neighbors undoubtedly knew him as a good person and righteous person. As far as we humans could see that he is blameless, like as we say about our friends and our neighbors, good about the others. But God, the Almighty, is the heart, not the external structure of a person. Everything was good and fine for Zechariah too. Zechariah believed and had faith that God would send a savior, but that confidence just to fall apart from when he became involved in the promise of the Savior who is to arrive. This confidence was taken when he experienced the promise of God to the angel Gabriel that Elizabeth is going to give birth to a child who is going to make way for the Savior. Savior in their old age. This has become an impediment in his faith by its own reason of how can this be? The impediment is his doubt and his skepticism. The result of his doubting was that the angel Gabriel gave him something at the time of. Because of his words of doubt, he was not allowed to utter another word until the promise of the Lord is fulfilled. 
The forced silence served to remove him from the hustle and bustle of the next 40 weeks of work and afforded him the time to contemplate on both the, on two things, on the angel's message and his own reaction to it. When was he perplexed why this message actually had come to me? So he has contemplated on this and the reaction, why this mutinous of doubt, by, by the doubting the Lord, why I have received this. So he reflected on it and contemplated on it. On his belief. And at the birth of the child, John the Baptist, Zechariah did not say, His name shall be John. And though, as though he himself do in mentioning the name and naming him with his own intention, but he simply said, He is John. Where not of his own, but acknowledging the God's word in him and the presence of the Lord and promise of the angels. And at that very moment his mouth was opened and rejoiced and that he filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the prophecy which is the Benedictus Antiphon where we recite every day in the morning prayer. This impediment in his prayer has made him use until the promise of God is fulfilled. In our life too, there are some impediments in our spiritual growth and blockages in relating to God. The impediments of attraction, temptation, addiction, attachment, distraction, and moral and immoral living, which are blocking us to connect with God and deviate us from preparing for the arrival of Lord Jesus Christ. Through the strength of God, we can be free from this impediment and cleared through our close union with God by a constant prayer life, participation in the sacrament, examination of conscience, fervent love for the Eucharist and the Word of God, and a life with silence by reflecting the Word of God by meditation and contemplation as Zechariah contemplated on his life. So with this insight, let us prepare ourselves in the silence of our heart as we are awaiting for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ with firm belief, without doubt, with firm confidence, without any distraction, with firm faith, without any disbelief. And celebrate the silent Christmas with peace, serenity, calmness and love and hope.
deviating me from the vocation. In this precious moment, let us ask the Lord to make us like Zechariah in his faith and his belief without any doubt. Yeah. And pray for that. Invite the qualities of Zechariah, righteousness, God hearing. And blamelessness. Doing the will of God. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, this time of our start, we were without the end. Amen. Let us pray. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive his seal, the ear Christ enters in. Bless us, O Lord, so to recognize you in our lives and to trust in your work and design. Come, O Lord Jesus. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.